Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be introducing you to uh, creation, the creation of heads-up displays for your game. So, what is a heads-up display? Um, a heads-up display is essentially a display which is shown to the player um, on, on basically on top of the viewport. So if you look in my scene here, you can see I've got a whole bunch of UI elements to display things like health, score, timer, and stuff like that. And that's pretty much what I want to be showing you how to do today. So I've made a basic little HUD here, which is essentially going to be some health for text, a graph, a fancy graphic for the background, and then a prog a progress bar for the health, and that's going to change based on a variable inside of the game. So when the player's health goes down, instead of it just being a little print string in the top left like it is now, it's actually going to be shown on the health bar inside the game. So if I go ahead and press play, you can see I've got two progress bars at the moment. One for diafuel in, and in blue for this game, and that's got a number as well. And then I've got another one in green for the health. So when these bots run into me, you can see the health goes down there. And if I was to go ahead and regenerate that health, it will go up you know, accordingly. It's quite simple to do, um, there's a lot to get your head around, but um, you know, it'll be really rewarding. So I'm going to be breaking down this tutorial into two parts. The first one today is going to be getting all the UI stuff in, uh, talking about the different types like progress bars, images and stuff inside of the designer, and then the second part is actually going to be attaching those, um, you know, those items to a variable inside of your game. Those variables are going to be like the health variable for your character and such like that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, I advise you follow along, um, you know, with the stuff that I've created here. Um, if you want to, I'm going to link the uh, PSD that I've got here, the Photoshop file, for you to download. Um, so you can actually use all my basic content here. So, anyway, so inside of my PSD, basically what I've done is I've, you know, just used, got some create, uh, basic graphics here to create the HUD. And I've got a few different things. So, the first thing is going to be a bit of text. Quite simple, really. Um, the next thing is going to be a little background. You don't really need that. But the most important bit here is the progress bar. And the progress bar, you're going to need two things. You're going to need an image for empty and an image for filled. That's if you want to stylize it. Anyway, so with the filled one and with this one, you're pretty much going to want to, you know, export all of this out. Now, the best way that I found to actually export all of these files out of Photoshop is to go ahead and go to scripts and then layer comps to files or export layers to files and it will export it out ready to go straight into the engine. Once you've done that, if you've got all your images ready or if you just want to use the default stuff inside of the engine, you can go ahead and open that up uh, quite simply. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and uh, export this out real quick. I'm going to go press run and I'm going to open up the engine here. So. Now that that's all set up, we need to go ahead and create a new HUD class for the player. This new HUD class is pretty much going to tell the engine what to display on the screen, when to display it, and, um, you know, the class that's, you know, going to be displayed. So, let's go ahead and do that. It's quite simple, really. You can see from my previous tutorials, I've already got one here, but I'm going to create a new one anyway. So, go ahead and right-click and go to user interface, sorry, no, go to blueprint class, and type in HUD, H-U-D. Just click it, press select. And we're gonna call this anything you want. I'm just gonna call it tutorial HUD. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the world settings of the, uh, of the map. Just go ahead and go to window, and then go to world settings. Inside of here, you need to change the default HUD class to the new HUD, Tutorial HUD. Now, if you haven't already, um, you know, set up a game mode override, just go ahead and do that and then it will be accessible. If you have none, it won't be uh, changeable. So just go ahead and do that. If we go ahead and press play, there should now be nothing on your screen. Well, there probably wasn't anyway, but you know, we got a blank canvas ready to start putting stuff in. So the next thing we need to do is pretty much create the container and the widget which your HUD is going to go inside. So just go ahead and right click inside the uh, content browser, 
go to user interface and then create a widget blueprint and we're going to call this tutorial widget HUD and then we're going to go ahead and open that up and you can see we'll now have access to the designer for everything. We've got the main screen here, we've got the details panel, we've got the palette and a whole bunch of stuff that we can put in here. So let's go ahead and start getting all of this stuff in here. If you wanted to you can just use a default progress bar or a default image just like that or a default button, text, whatever you want really. Um, so if you want to do it the default way just go ahead and chuck all your stuff in there. So if you want to work with something like a health bar I advise that you work with the progress bar as you, it allows you to change it based on a, uh, the appearance based on a value. So if I go ahead and change this percentage here from 0 to 1 you can see it filling up from left to right just like a health bar should. Or if you wanted to you could do fill from center a bit like this which is kind of cool but that's pretty much how you'd work with um, you know a health bar and then if you wanted to you've got uh, options for fill opacity uh, if you just wanted to change the color or if you wanted to style it you know using custom images you got your background image which is going to be essentially the no fill image just black uh, in the case of my HUD where it's just a black image when it's not filled up and then the fill image here it's going to be the green one when it's completely fill and it's pretty much going to adjust that based on you know the variable the percentage and lastly the last thing you're going to need is some text and that text is just going to display this little value here for health that I've got and if you wanted to you can also stylize that so I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that it's quite simple I'm going to get the same sort of color green and then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger I'm going to set some default text for now. Yeah, just give me a minute. Sure. I'm just going to change the default text here and we're going to drag it in. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could change the font if you've got some in here already. And then you've got stuff like shadow color and, uh, you know, all that cool stuff. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it just like it is. So let's move on to the progress bar and getting that in. So, like I said, if you don't have any images for all this stuff already um, you don't necessarily have to follow this just go ahead and skip straight to part two but I'm gonna go ahead and drag all of this stuff in that I've just exported out of Photoshop and I am going to just pretty much drag all this straight into the content browser it's gonna select it and drag it in just like that it may take a moment if it's not working there you are it's all imported in and now we've got all the files I don't need the text file as you know it's going to be represented with real text instead of an image but now we've got our fill bar our empty bar and then just the tiny little graphic for going in the background so if I go ahead and put this stuff in it's quite simple so I'm gonna go ahead and put the background in first and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go ahead and use an image and then I'm going to select the background image in the content browser and then I'm going to go to appearance I think it is uh, it's been a while brush yeah brush and I'm going to go ahead and set that image and then if I wanted to I can go ahead and scale it just like this quite simple really and now I need to do the same thing for the progress bar so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and select the background image first and I'm going to go to background image and I'm going to pretty much just go ahead and click that in and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab the fill image and I'm going to change that just like that pretty simple really and if I was to go ahead and change the percentage now you can see it going uh, you know filling up just like it should you can see the scaling is a little bit off so just go ahead and adjust that it's quite easy to do drag it in there just where it needs to be well at the moment my positioning isn't you know perfect but you can see you know the general idea of what I'm gonna do so if I now go ahead and do it it should look a lot fancier and just like that so now that we've got all of our HUD elements inside of the you know the heads up display we need to go ahead and open up the tutorial HUD and we need to tell the game to actually go ahead and display it.
That's quite simple really, just hook up begin play in the tutorial HUD and go to create widget and it's going to give you a class to choose from. This class is going to be our tutorial uh, HUD, HUD widget and then out to this we're just going to drag off add to viewport and then we're just going to hook up target to the return value, press play and you can see we've now got it in our screen. It's not working at the moment, but that's going to be pretty much what I'm going to be focusing on the next tutorial. For today, I've just shown you how to get all of these images and the different, um, you know, palette types into the user interface and get it all looking nice and fancy. One quick thing I wanted to show you really is um, that you can actually anchor this stuff to the center so it looks all nice in the game. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and center it and I'm going to go ahead and use anchors and we're going to set it to bottom center and I'm going to do the same for this bottom center and this once again bottom center and now inside of the HUD it should look a little bit better let's just go ahead and drag it in drag that down press compile play and boom it's all in but there we go. Anyway, so make sure you go ahead and check out the next episode where we show you how to add all the functionality um, for, you know, attaching the progress bar, the health bar to, you know, the player health and the text of the player health and more. Thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.